I know this game is past its prime, but today we're going to show you how to score goals in NHL 24. I know I'm late to the party, but this school year has been insanely busy for me. And I made a promise to the subscribers, so here we are with another how to score tutorial in NHL. So EA added full pressure this year, which myself and many other players really dislike. It's just really overpowered and one-sided for the offense, because while they retain their energy, the defense loses their energy along with the goaltender who just gets extremely fatigued. Now if you run a big cycle game in NHL, then full pressure probably helped you out quite a bit this year. Whether you cycle or not, I have four main scoring methods for NHL 24. Obviously there's tons of other ways to score, but these four are definitely the most consistent. These methods continue to work post-update and post-patch. These will also work in all game modes, such as HUT, EA, SHL, Be a Pro, etc. I guarantee if you follow these steps correctly, you'll be running opponents out of your lobbies and helping these good players lose. Another year, another game of cross crease one timers. This method is number one because NHL never changes except for their cover every year. Passes seem to get through defenders in the slot a lot this year, making it easy to force this play in every offensive rush. As long as you can get this pass east to west, your players will find a way to deflect, tip, or redirect the puck into the net. If you plan on using this method a lot, which who doesn't, and you want the best results for one-timers, I suggest moving your left-handed players to the right wing and your right-handed players to the left wing. This is going to allow them to be teed up and in prime position to receive that pass. Drop to a knee and shoot that puck past the goalie. I also suggest paying attention to the goalie's movement, see how he moves from post to post. You might want to shoot that far side or short side depending on how far over the goalie's moved through the crease. Now if you make one timers your go-to method, I suggest switching your strategy to overload on offense. You can do this in game in the line change menu or you can go to the strategies tab in your settings. This is going to allow your forwards on the weak side to open themselves up and receive that pass. It's a very easy method, I feel like every NHL player has been hitting this for years. All you gotta do is feed that pass east to west to your weak side winger, he should bury it home. Breakaways and those little one-on-ones with a goaltender occur a lot this year. I've seen lots of players struggle with them, including my EA SHL teammates. And while it seems more difficult to cash in on breakaways as compared to last year, the method for finishing is still the same because like I said earlier, same game, different year, different cover. So just like previous years, you want to quickly stick handle backhand forehand backhand or forehand backhand forehand and then shoot the puck on that short side. In order to do this, you must move your right analog stick from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock or vice versa. That's pretty much all you need to know movement wise in order to succeed. If you need an in-depth tutorial of this, I'll leave a link below of my video that focuses solely on breakaways and the movements you need. I'm pretty sure it's from NHL 22, but it's the exact same movements and it'll help you out a lot. Make sure you pay attention to the goalie's movements and how the goalie bites. You might have to aim high or low on the short side depending on where his pad sits. If he has you beat on the short side, don't be afraid to go far side just like this. Just a personal note that I had, um, I feel like the backhand is a lot easier to score on this year. I still have success on the forehand, but going backhand has been the best way for me. So that's breakaways this year. Very simple. Definitely have to score on these if you're given the opportunity, especially if you're trailing by a couple of goals. Or if you're my club teammates who can't score a breakaway to save their fucking life. Coming in at number 3, we have the greasy strategy of deflections or rebounds, also known as real hockey plays. This method is great if you're down by a couple of goals and none of the other strategies seem to be working for you. All you have to do is aim your shots low from the point and they'll either be tipped in front or cleaned up in front by your forwards. In order to shoot low, aim your left analog stick down or at 6 o'clock and that puck should stay along the surface of the ice the entire way. These shots seem to work very well this year as compared to previous years, especially if your forwards have the big tipper or close quarters zone ability. For better chances and opportunities at finishing rebounds or getting deflections, I suggest changing your offensive strategy to crash the net. As stated earlier, you could do this in the offensive line change tab or in the strategies tab under your settings. This will increase your net front presence and get all your players in the slot ready for a tip or a rebound cleanup. If I find myself struggling to score in a game, I'll change to crash the net on the fly. 
it gives you insane opportunities to get back into a game even if you're down by like two or three goals. As you can see I score a lot this way. All you have to do is shoot low from the point. Your AI forward's going to do the rest. They're going to do a stick tip or stick deflection animation and nine times out of ten that puck's going past the goalie. My final strategy for scoring this year is sniping through traffic or net front presence. Goalies get screened so easily this year, so make sure you're shooting for the corners. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five players in front of the net. We're going to shoot from the top. It goes right in top left. Now if your opponent's defenders collapse in front of the net or the slot, it'll leave the top of the circles wide open and they'll be screening their own goalie, allowing you to cash in on a sweet snipe. Obviously you want to have your own players in front of the net too. You can make this happen by changing your strategy to crash the net just like with the rebounds and deflections. Instead of shooting low across the ice for a tip, shoot for the corners. Your AI forward will screen the goalie in front and he's not going to see the puck. You can also do snipes from the slot this year, far side or short side. If you have players with a higher shot accuracy then you'll have success with this, but it's not as consistent as the snipes through traffic. So we're approaching April, but those are the best ways to score in NHL 24, in my opinion. They're definitely the most consistent for me and a lot of other players. Obviously, there's more ways to score in this game, but I just wanted to share the easiest for the newcomers or the people that are struggling. Next time you load into a game of HUT or EASHL, please keep these four strategies in mind. I guarantee you'll succeed with them as long as you execute them properly. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I'll answer them to my best ability. Even though it's late in the season, I hope this video sheds some light on how to score in NHL 24.